Obi import and export. We are house economists. Ah. Ah. Obi. Why did you do that? You now run away to labor. As a business person, these perennial problems that we face in our industry of bringing goods, clearing goods, the demorate strikes, you know, duties that are accrued that you have to pay, you have to bribe people at the port, you're not going to face any of this. And, you know, if you're a business person, if you're a real estate investor, if you just want to get a house, buy a house for yourself, or you just want to make some money, cash flow for real estate, this would concern and interest you. So, if you're a business person or even somebody in the industry, people that they like to get stuff from outside, because most times, most of the finishing that we see in apartments and houses now is not gotten from here, it's not sourced here, they are sourced from abroad. And you know, you would have faced this problem in the port, the incessant traffic, the strikes that can make your goods just stay there for months and months on end. She said even before they could clear her stuff, it took three months, <laughs> three months after <laughs> she was even supposed to use that. So, and she also spoke of the demo rage that the thing accrued because of the constant fact that it was spending every single day that it spends there, it accrues costs. We are talking about the ease of doing business. But what if there was a solution for that? What if there was something, somehow, some way, some policy that can stop this, that can solve this problem once and for all? And I believe that, you know, the government, the Lagos State government is to their credit because, I mean, <laughs> it's not every time we get to give these guys credit, but to their credit, that is the that is the thinking behind the free zones that we have there at Ipecheleki because, you know, these are some of the benefits of domiciling your business in a free zone. First of all, there is no withholding tax on dividends that are made from the free zone. There is no corporate tax, no corporate income tax accrued. Then you have zero, zero VAT on you know anything that you purchase within the free zone and most importantly there are no imp import duties for stuff that comes in to the free zone and, and bear in mind that in that free zone we have the deepest sea ports in probably west africa even africa you know in the deep sea port worth over two billion dollars handled by toleram and so there's not going to be anything like strike. There's not going to be anything like demorage that's um, that's going to be accrued because this is a private public partnership, mostly private. So you know the whole idea of a free zone is that there's minimal interference by the government. So even though that they are still going to be working with MPA, they are going to be working with NEBSA, the, the Nigerian Export Processing Zone Authority, and all of all these guys. But the thing is that it's going to be so minimal. And the businesses that are domiciled there, the businesses that set up a free zone enterprise, either as a subsidiary or sets up their company there and buys land and have their physical headquarter or physical branch there, would all gain, you know, zero, there are zero quotas for expatriates. You can repatriate 100% of your funds. You know, people that like to do offshore stuff, <laughs> you can repatriate zero, 100% and then the, the, the speed and the ease at which you can register your startup, your new business. You know, for instance, this free zone enterprise is going to take you like two to four weeks to register. And, you know, you can be saying, oh, as amazing as these things, who is already carrying to it? Oh, what's the catch? Oh, blah, blah, blah. But 50 plus companies are already and counting have already keyed into this. We have companies like Aerial Foods, Caterpillar, Mantra Caterpillar. We have uh, Alpha, Alpha Run Gas, Run Gas Alpha. We have Kenor. We have heavy machinery distributors. You know, we have even Tinubu Sons, Lord Media. 
promo media. They are there. <laughs> These people are there. We have, you know, um, Starium, a subsidiary of BUA, Boa Group. You know, we have so many companies that are already coming there to, you know, gain from this position themselves from this. Say, you know, you, you're able to import goods, you know, zero import uh, levies, zero interference. You clear your stuff quickly and, you know, you're not stuff like VAT and also all these de- 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 dollarization policies, no FX control there. You can actually get income in dollars. You can actually transact in dollars. In fact, the apartments that are going to be there, in fact, all the land that you can even, you are going to buy there, it's all in dollars. And it's no wonder why the latest of them, Ingy, which is uh, the co-founder of Future Africa Venture Capital Fund, that purchased about 72,000 square meters of land in Alaro City, which is the, a free trade zone, you know, for him to build his talent city. And when he was complaining one time about something, he was like, ah, the, one of the reasons why we went here is so that you can stop all of this nonsense that we are facing in the main Nigeria. Because, you know, after all has been said and done about Tink and Port, I mean, Vice President Osipajo once went on an aerial survey. He was in the helicopter and we we'll see 100 days to the office we're going to do. Nothing has been done. There's still the whole backload traffic. You know, the whole, the, there are lots of issues. In fact, recently I heard that they were trying to go on strike and even your cars, you know, cars went from clearing at, I think, 800,000 naira to, I think, 3 million and above. You know, but like this, so so much has been happening, and it's like there's no end to this. But this solves it because if you have a company domiciled there, and if you have a property there registered as a free zone enterprise, you have these amazing, amazing, amazing perks. And also, coupled with the fact that the people that you have around you are these experts, these professionals oil and gas professionals, tech experts, you know, tech founders, people that are going to come um, because of the um, the airport is going to be very close by the international airport that is in the island is going to be very close by. So you would you would rather people defer staying around that area. So just even for positioning sake, it is just very, very convenient. I know the next question you'll be asking is that how much does it cost? For instance, the apartments in Universal 1, Universal Homes, rather, which is another company that's not even Nigerian that came into Nigeria and purchased a, um, some piece of land at Alaro City, and they are building about 500, over 500 apartments, two bedrooms between 32 to 37 million naira. I'm, I'm, I'm using the current exchange rates right now, but it's in dollars. And uh, just imagine you have that. There are so many apartments in Lagos that are costing way, 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 way above that. Now, I'm not even going to give you this benefit. So you have that, um, you have an apartment or two there. And first of all, it's, it's accruing in value. And then you get rental income in dollars. Then if you even want to sell at the end of the day, if I, I'm not, I don't think that if you have an apartment there, you're going to sell and for just cheap, 32 to 37 million dollars, you, 30, 32 to 37 million naira rather, you have your own apartment there. You know, <laughs> there are some many, many off plan properties in this Lagos that we know that people have paid over that amount in years. They have not seen their apartments. They have not seen anything, and that place doesn't even have a good title. This one is a Lagos State Allocation C of O clean title that was given to them. So you don't even have a problem of, oh, do I have is this a good title? You know, this one, that one, that one. Blah, blah. And if you want to get land, the land is going for as low as 26 million naira. So, as you know, the cap right now is about 136 million naira. And that's if you want to do, you know, mixed use industrial and stuff which is very very some places in Ikate you're going to spend above that to just get somewhere residential you know so and this 500 square meters and above that we're talking about so you can you can you can you can get this awesome benefits you know and as a business person these perennial problems that we face in our industry of bringing goods clearing goods the demorage strikes, you know, duties that are accrued that you have to pay, you have to bribe people at the port, you're not going to face 
any of this you know and obviously if you're going to be sending it to the main nigeria like you're standing outside of the free zone they are going to be um they are going to be fees that apply but you know, if everything like that's within there you don't even get to pay any fees and if not anything just the fact that it is very 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 smooth you know i see lots of realtors here on this place you know they talk about everywhere around the free zone but the free zone but this is what so many people are sleeping on and you know they are apartments are already well ready for you to walk in and start inspecting you know you have to have to have to have to take advantage of it because not just is the fact that it's located in the free zone and this amazing benefit it's along the lekki ekpe corridor it's along the lekki ekpe corridor linking you to the main lagos linking you also to ekpe and linking you to the planned dual carriage dual carriage six lane road <laughs> so i need i say more need i really need i say more this is amazing and amazing and if you're not already dialing my number or looking for my number in the description i don't know what you're waiting for because this is going to be massive this is going to be a game changer for a business person if you're a real estate investor and you've just been looking at so many issues that we talk about oh title issues or oh, uh off plan are they going to deliver in fact like it was a group of companies that came together first of all for the alaru city they came together and they were there was a norwegian you know some other countries different investors from different countries they came and to just tell you how much they believe in this alaru city project when the lagos when they came in lagos they gave them a couple of hectares i think about under 1000 hectares they applied for more and they give them more <laughs> so alaru city and these free zones they are going to be something else and it's something that's very affordable for you now especially because of the dollar rates you know so if you're not buying now you're already in fact if you're buying you're already hedging your investment automatically in dollars because the value is going to be in dollars and somewhere we talk about places like dubai oh dubai dubai has about 40 free zones sorry uae has about 40 free zones and 30 plus of those free zones are in dubai they have one at the airport they have jewelry city they have media they have even healthcare city you know this is what in, that's what made Dubai what Dubai is these free zones and the Lagos state government is trying to position these free zones as um, an investment hub to attract investments foreign direct investments and also people here in Nigeria so you should not be left missing on that part and I can make I can make I'm not going to boost <laughs> but I can make bold to say that nobody else is talking about it you heard this here first so you you can actually become one of the very first responders and take advantage of it book your inspection get into this before it becomes even higher the prices go higher and i know a lot of city they were giving a discount of like two thousand dollars if you pay like 25 percent initial deposit and a five thousand dollar discount if you can make your payment i think within the first month or the first two months i think they're removing it by the end of the month but it is something that they are now trying to incentivize people to come people are coming in their droves and their droves company are coming in their droves and even you say the political class are seeing the opportunity here i talked about in the Busan, and they are positioning themselves so why wouldn't you position yourself so that's my reaction to that video and how i feel like things like that businesses that want to thrive for the long haul can position themselves to 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 succeed here in nigeria so take advantage of it you know contact us for pricing details and for more that you want to know about this and i would be ready and happy to answer all your questions so thank you so much for watching kindly like kindly subscribe kindly drop a comment tell me what you think and yes on a home the ngtv show we are committed to giving you the best property recommendations and inside that real estate so till i come your way next time i will see you in the next video bye bye